Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you assign a macro to a command button's events, whenever the specified event occurs, the specified macro will run. Most often, you will associate a macro with the click event of a command button. If you want a user to click a command button control within a form to launch a macro, then open the form in Design View. Then make sure that the Use Control Wizards button is selected in the Controls group within the ribbon. Next, click the Button Control in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area within the form where you want to place the Command button. The command button wizard will then launch, allowing you to pick what text or picture to include on the button and also what macro to attach to the button's click event. So this is a very quick and easy way to assign a macro to a button. Now you can also assign a macro to an object's event through the property sheet. So to do this, select the object in the form to which you want to attach the macro, and then select the property sheet button in order to display the property sheet pane. Now in the property sheet pane, click the event tab to view all of the available events for the particular type of object selected. Now typically, macros are assigned to the on-click event of a command button which then runs the macro when somebody clicks the button. However, there are other types of objects and events to which you may find it useful to attach macros. For example, you may want a macro that runs when a user rolls their mouse pointer over a selected object. In this case, you could program the macro to launch on the selected controls on mouse move event. So once you've determined the appropriate event to associate with a macro, Click into the Event Property field in the Event tab in the Property Sheet, and then select the name of the macro that you want to run from the drop-down list that appears. Now also, when you're in Form Design View, you can embed macros directly into the form. Macros that are embedded within a form do not appear as separate objects within the navigation pane. They can only be edited from within the associated form. So to do this, first select the object in the form within which you want to embed a macro. Then click into the Event tab in the property sheet and find the event to which you want to attach an embedded macro. Click into the event shown in the tab and next click the builder button that appears at the right end of the property field. In the choose builder dialog box that appears select macro builder and then click the OK button. This will open the new macro design window where you build the macro as normal. Now when you're finished, just click the close button that appears in the close group on the design tab of the macro tools contextual tab. Then click the yes button to save the embedded macro into the form.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.